Dr. Mazor and today I'm going to teach you how to give a subcutaneous injection on a goat. Um, this is my friend Hank. He's feeling a little naughty today so he might move around a little bit on us. Um, now for a subcutaneous injection on this size goat, um, you can use a 20 gauge needle, you can use an 18 gauge needle, you can use a one inch length or a one and a half inch length. If you're new to giving injections for sub-Q, I would really recommend starting off with a one inch needle. Doesn't matter what gauge. It'll just help you get your technique down until you get a little bit more comfortable with it. Now, in terms of a location on where to give the injection, you do have a few options. You can give a subcutaneous injection right here. You can give one right here. A lot of people like to give one right here at the elbow, or you can give it right here. So no matter where you go, it being subcutaneous means that it is gonna go under his skin. But I really prefer and I really recommend that you give it in this location here. So basically what I tell people is if you put a hand on the shoulder blade and then move one whole hand behind that, this is the perfect spot. Um, a lot of people do like to give it right in here. I just think this is a more forgiving location because you can get a larger volume of medication in here and it's a bigger pocket, so it's easier to hit. So once you've got your spot figured out, what you're gonna do is pinch the skin, pull the skin away from the body, and make a skin tent. Now once I have my spot and I like it, I just take my finger and I kind of poke that skin tent just to kind of test it out and see, does this feel like an empty space under here? Am I gonna run into a muscle? And once I like that spot, I'll go ahead and give the injection. Now in this location, I would recommend when you do give that injection to point your needle straight at the ground. A lot of people make the mistake of angling outward like this, which is how you come back into the skin, or angling inward like this, which is just gonna hurt. Um, there's not a whole lot of muscle here. So once you have your spot, you're gonna take your skin tent, you're gonna test it out, Take your cap off your needle and then you're going to point your needle straight towards the ground about half the length of your needle whether that's a one and a half inch needle or a one inch needle you're going to want to advance it only about half of the length into that pocket so you go ahead and advance it and then you're going to pull back on your plunger aspirate see that you have air which means that you are in an empty space and then go ahead and give your medication 